Well, I have to say, stop the press. Stop the press. We have vital, important information out here. We have to get the news out. And that is why the press has been so historically critical. To the, I mean, they talk about the history of the, of the printing press. Mm -hmm. And it has had the impact that changed our world because then information could flow much exactly. easier. So we're going to talk a little bit about that here today. Mm -hmm. Barbara Reeves is in studio, Reeves Printing. But first, let's give a shout out to our sponsors. You can see everybody on the walls next to us, behind us, around us. We have Carroll House Furniture, Carroll House Brooke and Amy. We love what they do. They are awesome because you like nice things, right? In your little castle. Mm -hmm. You must have nice things in your little castle. So that's what we have there. And then our friends over at USA Mortgage uh, doing a great job. Everyone needs a home. And so USA Mortgage, I am a licensed loan officer, MLO they call it, mortgage loan officer. And uh, the disclaimers come up. We got that at the end of the show here for you. So you can get all the information about my license, but I've been doing this for a while. And finally, some of the mortgage guys said, you've been doing our advertising forever. Why don't you get paid on this stuff, get your license. So that's <laughs> what we're doing now. And there's all kinds of fun stuff that ties into it. Multifaceted, we have to diversify. We're gonna talk about how Barbara here has changed careers. And uh, mm -hmm. now is in a position where she is the entrepreneur and we're going to talk about that so let's get into it i'm going to put up on the wall behind us then you got a pretty good looking website you guys that's that's good that's what you need these days everybody talks about the interwebs and if you don't have a good looking website that's mm -hmm. one of the things but i'm going to share with people information why i believe and i think you obviously agree print is still very important uh, more important than most people realize absolutely especially when you get in down to the, the, the psychology if you will mm -hmm of why people or how people get to where you want them to be so that you can reach out to them, capture right. their lead information. How many of us in the marketing world talk about that? And uh, it is critical for what we do. So Barbara, welcome to the show. Thank you. We have a few questions for you. And I like to give them a list of stuff that we might want to talk about. Barbara wrote these out in detail. That was dynamite. <laughs> Nobody's ever done that before. That's why she has done. She uh, was at the higher levels. We talked about this a little bit before the show too. At a well-known airplane manufacturer <laughs> that uh, and after rising to the heights there and managing $40 million in budget uh, with them, you said, I got to do something different. I'm going to start my own company. I'll become an entrepreneur. Why did you mm -hmm. decide to do this? Well, I used to be an, an entrepreneur before I came to Boeing. So um, that is kind of what I wanted to do again. And um, and I always enjoyed being my own boss. So that was really where I was hoping to get back to being able to do things the way that I like to do them. Well, and that's important. If you want to run things correctly, you want them to run well, efficiently, mm -hmm. you start your own company. Mm -hmm. That's or, true. Or find a company that you like the way they're kind of in the industry that you're at and, and say, I'm, I'd like to purchase that company and be yeah. the owner and then change things the way you want them to be. It's right. Good. And so uh, excellent strategy there. I'm with you. Knowing your background, when we first met, I was like, she's doing printing. Okay. And then we talked about your background. I'm like, holy cow. You were like, <laughs> you were like help run this country a little bit and, and do some uh, great stuff to make a real impact in our little planet because um, that, but that, 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 uh, airplane company <laughs> it's at the level you got and then you say that 30 years of doing that age at a, at a young age should we say your age you, you might as well i was 56 at the time 56 I left so this is like negative seven years ago because mm -hmm. you look young but but great job and you said let's go do it all right why did you decide to do this i mean this is a an endeavor why'd you pick printing well that's kind of a i was looking for an established company um, and I really wanted to be able to use my creativity, which is, which is what I was hoping is I'd be able to manifest my creativity into printing. Um, and I have been able to do that to a degree, um, not in quite the same way I thought I would do, but somehow I've managed to do that. Well, uh, again, taking it on, uh, there's no 
crying in baseball we have on the wall up here. Exactly. And so <laughs> you decided, I'm going to go after this. Yeah. In an industry, some people think, oh, printing, that's all. Yeah. No, not if you know what how marketing really works. And well, can, printing is has always been termed a dying business. So... So everybody thought I was crazy to go buy a printing business. <laughs> but, uh, you know, and, and COVID kind of made that maybe a reality. But, um, but there's certainly a lot of reason to have printing around. Um, you, can't really, you can't really have just online marketing yes i i don't believe that's sufficient for a real um marketing strategy well we've talked about that a little bit a lot of people i, I get into it with people to say do you know that the number one barrier to entry for most businesses because i've been doing marketing for i mean i was involved with the marketing for anheuser bush when i was 25 so mm -hmm. 20 yeah 25 and uh Literally, I mean, emails, we blasted them out. 50 million emails came from our mm -hmm. servers that I managed and went out to the world. We tracked how many deliveries, failures, all that kind of stuff. But the other core element to that was an, an print, an emails are what like, like, emails dead. Mm -hmm. No, none of this stuff is. You, you've got to hit them with multiple points. We talked right. about that before. Right. You've got, you've, got to, you've got to get people to first to pick up what you what you're, uh, want them to see. Then you've got to be able to draw them into wanting more information. And, and then you've got to have that more information lead them to what do they want, you know. Yeah. And, and I think that's part of having a lot of creativity is that if you don't have a lot of color and, um, and excitement, in what you put out for print products, you're not going to get draw them into that that need to. Great look. point. First, I'm going to say a lot of times we, we do have impromptu little things we change. I'm going to tell you one we're going to make where if you don't mind, tuck your wire under. Oh, my shirt. wires. No, no worries, and then pull that mic over just a little bit, sorry. But we do live. We just tell how it is, everybody. There's nothing to hide here, so there you go. I just want to look the greatest, but there you got it. But when in our discussion, our pregame prep. And thank you for being flexible with us today. I ended up in another big thing and it turned into mm -hmm. a bigger thing that I was trying to manage. But, um, but I said, let's have the conversation we normally have on our phones before we, mm -hmm. we normally have in the studio because you write these notes that were dynamite and, and a lot of people, <laughs> nobody does that. But you're a very thorough person, obviously, with what you do. And uh, the, one of the most interesting com points that, we, that I'm like, exactly. How do you get somebody's attention? That is the absolute most essential component. If you don't have someone's attention, nothing else matters, mm -hmm. right? I talk to people, he's like, oh, I just spent $13,000 on my website. Awesome. How many people go there? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we had 27 visitors last month. I'm like, woo, wow. feel good about your $13,000 <laughs> website. That's... But is it, I mean, I talk about it. This is where I said, I'm gonna talk about this. This is cool because my kind of my little, Hey, any, you know anybody that dresses up like a crazy wild man having lots of fun in the community? Here, we'll put the hat on at this point, right? Where's the cowboy hat? I learned <laughs> inadvertently, however you want to look at that, to get attention. Now, yeah. I, I, I was like, I better do something real positive with this or my mom is going to kill me. But I felt like <laughs> I would talk about my coma and what I overcame and help other people mm -hmm. understand that life is not over no matter what hurdle you go through. That's what the show is. And we bring other leaders on to talk about that. That's why, that's mm -hmm. why we invited you on here. But print is a dynamite way. If you don't feel like dressing up as a cowboy with form-fitting baseball pants and <laughs> striped socks and carrying a trophy and rings, and I have half of that here. Uh, we really beat up our trophy earlier today, broke a couple flags, but it's all right. It's not platinum, right? I think it's platinum, it's not. <laughs> but it's platinum paint. But you have to get their attention. And yep. if you don't want to run around in a baseball uniform, which some people may want to, I haven't found anybody else that does. Mm -hmm. not, not my age at the Cardinal game, but I don't care. I was in a coma, my life is short, I'm having fun. It turned into a wonderful, fun thing for me to help people and do things. Print it on something that looks dynamite. Absolutely. Tell us why that's so important. Well, I think it, I think you need to. I have a degree, or actually a minor in psychology, and one of the things that I always saw as important is you have to get people to 
you have to come to people in different ways. So, so you, can, you can approach people with uh, something written. You can approach people with the words that you use. You can approach people with music. All of those different ways are ways to draw them in. And printed products, bright and colorful and exciting, are ways that you can draw people in. And once you draw them in, you can draw them to your information, which is critical to getting the sale that you want for that person to buy your products. Well, and that's what we talk about. It's like, hello, do you want your effort to result in half as many people that end up there or 100% mm -hmm. of what you could have had? Because right. I don't do print. It doesn't work. That's fine. The people that know that it does, we're glad you don't do it. <laughs> Cause, cause, <laughs> exactly. Because they're going, hey, that's cool. We got a little secret here. It's not the primary for some people, mm -hmm. but it is a dynamite. It depends what you're offering, where you're at, right. what you're doing. And so right. I just learned, we got we got to dive into the QR code discussion mm -hmm. a little bit. And we've got all kinds of examples over here. I've got some flyers, you've got flyers. But everyone knows what a QR code is. I, I, now mm -hmm. I finally embedded those into our last little video that we did, but it can come up on a screen. QR codes are dynamite. Mm -hmm. Carry your television with you, everybody. And then you can put up a QR code for everybody that you see and they can scan that. <laughs> or get it printed on a piece of paper on yeah. your business card Even at least. on your business card. Right? Talk, right? Why are QR cards so essential now? QR well, codes. A QR code is, is, is a way that once you've drawn them in to, with your pretty pictures or something, then that's the way that they connect to more information. Yes. And, and you can... And then you can give people tons of information without having to have a big book, right? Here's, here's the book of all the products we have, right? But you could just take them to your website and, and, it seems and to drop me, them right onto the product. Exactly. You can take, the QR code can go right to the page that you want. Right. The, the QR code essentially ties to whatever they went in the code. It used to exactly. be UPC codes, right? Where they, they're right. Saying, whenever you checked out of the store, they didn't have to type in the number or right. go check the inventory and mark one off. Yeah. And we do put barcodes on things too that that sometimes connect people to to the exact product that you're going to want them to go get. And it takes them right to that page on the on the website. Right. And and that's what I'm saying, ladies and gentlemen, please invest in some print materials because it, it is it's the most cost effective way. Mm -hmm. I can print them on my little printer. That'll be like the cheap way of getting it done. And it can work. But it's actually not as cheap as you think it is. Oh, it ends up being pain. I don't have, I got printers around here, they'll break. Because and then if I you've got, those, those little toner cartridges and stuff are way more expensive <laughs> than, than going and having it printed by a, an actual printer. Well, that's where it's a dynamite strategy, if you will, to have a great relationship with a wonderful printer. Mm -hmm. Now, I, I'd say that's something that is easy, kind of commonplace. There's a lot of printers available out there, but Barbara, we're running up on our end of our segment here for you. We're going to continue here, everybody. By the way, the way we do these segments is, and we're finishing up right now. This segment's going to end on ABC right now, but there's a lot more we're going to dive into here. So go watch the full interview out on our YouTube channel, her YouTube channel. We're going to we give our clients a copy of the interview, their Facebook, all that stuff, and get back into that. Get, see the rest of this interview. This is going to be great information for you guys that you really should dig into because mm -hmm. we can show you where you can be much more effective by doing so. So with that, everybody, we're continuing on. And literally, people, tell us why, why some of the things, that, especially when you talk, we talk printer ink. I mean, and I, I've got a, a printer that I use a little bit. Everyone's mm -hmm. a great guys. They, they're a lot of them. But what is the big advantage you have? Because you've got such mass printing capabilities. And we talked about how much more people spend. Yeah. Because you send it to one printer, they're when, not actually doing it. When you go and... and buy all those little cartridges. I don't know if you, you've probably got some of those little cartridges that you've had to buy and they're like $60 I've got each. them now. Oh, they, they figured out the printers they don't make their money on. It's the yeah, ink. Yeah, they make a ton off the ink. Right. So, so you're buying those little cartridges and that it's printing two, 300 copies and then you're done and you gotta go buy another one of those. So add that up over your 300 copies. Oh, right. It's insane. What are you paying per page then? And that's the difference that you're going to get when you go to a printer who's, who's A, can run those copies like that 
and 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 are using or maybe giving you them for 10 15 cents a copy or less right and and add that up over your cartridges you've got a whole a whole cheaper <laughs> approach <laughs> i wanted to talk a little bit not to jump around too much but i want to come back to the the real issue which with regard to if you can send it to a printer, great. Mm -hmm. Let's talk about this because it's important. If you send it to a printer, that's great. But then they don't do what you can do. Right. So what happens? The price goes up. They got to go give it to somebody else. They're not doing this for free. They go, okay, right. we're going to charge them this. Well, this is what you've got to pay. And then here we end up with a 30, 40, 50% yeah. markup that they don't understand is in there. Right? So I'm a, I'm a one, I call myself a one stop print shop. And the reason I call us that is because we have digital and offset press and um, large format presses. So we have all of those pieces and we can do all of that kind of work within our same area, including lamination now. I've got a laminating machine too. Oh wow. So that's kind of a cool thing. So we can do all of that within my shop. I don't have to go and get somebody else to do that. A lot of other printers have um, have one or two of those pieces, right? They may have one offset press. They may have copiers. But for them to do that kind of work, they usually have to outsource it to others. And that means there's a markup from them. And then there's the markup from where you outsourced it to. So you're going to pay a lot more if you don't have that stuff in house people don't understand that it's like i paid four hundred dollars it could have been three hundred dollars. yeah exactly <laughs> it's a big difference when you do it that. is a big difference four times a month or right ten times exactly. a month exactly and people don't understand that i didn't realize that I, 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 barbara does a great job of just keeping a, a, a clientele for people that don't necessarily want to deal with all this stuff mm -hmm. so most people do their stuff via email or they just call you There's yeah not a, some people don't even do email. You're like, just right. call us and we'll figure it out over the phone. Yeah, and yeah. You, you will actually modify for them and set them set up with. We do a lot of modifications, but we also do what we call same day service. I have a lot of customer base that does a lot of uh, entertainment types things. So they come and get flyers for their latest um, band or whatever is coming up. And we will, if they call us in the morning and um, and we've got their artwork before 10 in the morning. We have it out to them and done by four o'clock in the afternoon. So that's all same day service. That means that there's a, and there's a whole list of things that we can do in the same day, which means you can not plan very well and still get the products you need to have this, this party or event come up and and be able to advertise for it uh, important and yeah. this is somebody because uh, how much of a delay was somebody really talked about before somebody calls you calls the other printer they're going to end up calling you because you can do it and they can't sometimes and then they go mm -hmm. okay and we'll get it tomorrow because there's already that right. one more communication that right. has to happen to get this thing done exactly and now it doesn't happen because they didn't call you direct right <laughs> right all right valuable stuff i'm going to show up on the wall everybody putting up on our tv wall up there check it out first one i'll show you is our is a barbara's website well, i clicked on the products page here if you want to talk a little bit about this they can hear us they just can't see us if that's okay for right now but they're up on the wall is your website so i'm going to scroll down on the website a little bit here and talk a little bit about what you what everybody's looking at yeah so we do we do graphic design too as well and what you're seeing is some of the large format products as well as the offset printing we do raised letterhead and and raised letter offset printing which is something that apparently is relatively um, non-existent anymore and part of that is you have to have an offset pr you have to do that through offset presses Okay. Um, we're also a plate we do a lot of plate making which is which is sort of like the the information that's given to each of these offset presses and we do that for other printers <laughs> they'll send us their stuff and we'll create the plates for them so they can run their offset presses with it and we have a plate maker in-house that um, we use for that 
uh, as well as we can do boxes. We can do um, really like panels for boxes. Uh, we have a great big Kamori that is a huge machine. Um, and we do that with uh, the presses as well. Um, we can do banners, we can do um, canvases, we can do photo quality level stuff. So th this Mamaki that we have is all about, um, it does photo quality UV resistant ink and it and it'll cut all the it'll cut everything out as well so I can do stickers and I can do wall clings and I can do window clings and I can do um, decals for your stuff uh, the the banners we can have uh, both the indoor kind and and the mamaki is a roll so you can do anything that's 52 inches across and however long you want it Wow. So, 10 foot. Anything I need done, you can do it. Pretty much. <laughs> that's, that's a key to uh, success. And so, yeah. you give yourself all the resources. I always tell people, give yourself the tools. Right. It's worth owning something sometimes. If you're going to be, especially you're going to be using it all the time, why wouldn't you do that? But there's a lot of people that are just like, eh, I'll just do it a couple times and they find out they need a lot more often. And they should have that relationship with a printer yeah. like you that right. can get it done. I mean, a lot of, a lot of those, all that equipment is, is a lot of, uh, expense to keep up as well and most of those machines are incredibly old but that's that's the thing about printing is it's uh, the more mechanical it is the easier it is to keep it up um, if the more electronic it is the more difficult it is to keep that stuff up on your own <laughs> makes sense I'm gonna put up on the wall everybody a little bit of your work this is off your Facebook page and that's a pretty dynamic looking print piece there mm -hmm. i mean it almost looks like i can i'm gonna get splashed with paint as i look on my yeah. we're looking at it on the tv wall to barbara's right um, but it's on the screen for you guys to see there talk about that piece a little bit how many what, what was that printed with this this was uh this is actually a newsletter that we did and um and it's it's we, we're doing these every month now um the march one is almost ready and i like the the second page of this one. Should I go to the right? Is that, yeah, there that's is. the one that I think is the most beautiful because it's got it's almost got a 3D quality. Yeah, I mean the shadows and everything. You can but see it's all. just a piece of print. Yeah, you feel like if you're going to get your, your shirt wet. Yeah, it <laughs> does. If you put it your does. hands in. It looks like it's going to jump right out of, off the page at you. But yes, I like that one a lot. Well, good looking stuff and, and great that you have such high quality printing capabilities because uh, these days... Um, there are a lot of people that just don't know where to go, and that's why we wanted you to have you on the show to share right. with people some of the expertise that you have, especially given her background. You want to talk about things are going to get done. She used to run a major division of a very large company mm -hmm. and was responsible for managing millions and millions, like almost 100 million sometimes maybe. No, <laughs> usually, it, usually it was anywhere from 30 to 40 million a year. <laughs> Yeah, so she knows how to make these things. Small amount of money. Yeah, let's say I'm a little bit. I want to try something different. I don't say you're tired mm -hmm. of that, but you wanted to try something different, and, and uh, so then you ended up let's buy going into the printing business because it was a passion for yours too. As well. well, it was something. It was an outlet for my creativity. Right. So I hoped that it would be an outlet for my creativity, and that newsletter is kind of down that road. And my dragons are that creativity as well. Well, we talked about what's really separated you from your competitors. I mean, we, we're kind of jumping around. I've got a, a set list of things I always want to cover. FYI, everybody, because I want to dig in on why um, businesses do what they do. Because mm -hmm. and, and, you get to know the owners. I just had a friend come back from his big conference for all the roofing. He's a roofing guy and does really well. And he says, they're telling everybody now the new thing is you've got to find some place to get interviewed. <laughs> oh, well, what there you idea? go. <laughs> well, because we're getting tired of the click. Yeah. Facebook, text, email. I don't even know who I'm talking to. Yeah. So we want to have experts come in here and talk about, get to know them because this is somebody you might develop a relationship with on a professional level to get a mm -hmm. lot of work done and you don't want to get taken. You want to know mm -hmm. who you're working with. You can't do that in a three second, 12 second, 30 second. You got to get to hear from somebody a little bit. Tell me the process when somebody decides they want to work with you. Somebody says, hey, I'm ready to do this. 
What, what was the first steps of people? I got that other one I'll go back to. but. Um, well, the bulk of, of our stuff is people will either call me or they've met me at a networking meeting or, or they'll email us directly. And you can actually email us straight off our, of our website as well. And, you, and then you'll, you'll give us the artwork that you want to try, try to produce. We'll give you quotes back so we know how much, uh, so you know what you're getting into from a price standpoint. And we'll often recommend differences to either to your artwork or to the kind of product that we'll produce. And sometimes people will just kind of give me something like, I'd like it to be like this, or I'd like to, to get something that does that. And I use that to try and figure out how to create something for them. Well, a lot of people ask me, they're like, what am I going to talk about for a half hour, for 30, for 40, mm -hmm. for 50 minutes? We're not even like halfway through what we want to talk about here. We've already got <laughs> exactly. dynamite information because we just, this is stuff people should get. You don't get to sit down with people who own businesses and have a half hour chat. You yeah. know? And that's what we want to allow. So we are recording this for everybody, of course, and so it'll be out there for everyone to enjoy. Uh, and it's going to air on ABC. You already missed that part that's going to air. Um, that part we did for the first 15 minutes or so mm -hmm. and now we're into the extended version so you're watching this on the youtube channel or facebook or TikTok or wherever it is get the information it's just valuable it helps mm -hmm. people understand the decisions they're going to make tell me a, a time when you really felt like you helped a client or, or, or the process where you often help people that it's like huh they don't even realize what happened here but we'll take care of it so i i, I had a good example but I, I think probably this this other example is one that i really like i did um i had a friend who wanted to get a copy of a really old uh photo that he had he brought in the frame and the photo and we had to take he couldn't take it out of the frame because it was so old wow. And um, so I, I figured out how I could take pictures of it and create a graphic version of it. And then we could make copies of it for the rest of his family. So he'd have versions of it that they could keep for ever because he could only keep, he, he was the only one who had the actual original version, but that allowed all the rest of his family members to have a copy of it. And that was really fun, and um, he was so appreciative that that we did that for them. Um, that it was that was the 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 reward to me is being able to have put something together that had a lot of meaning. Well, that, that's uh, it's important stuff. You get a lot of sentimental value from mm -hmm. those types of things that people are like that picture is wasted it's gone you're never going to see it again but mm -hmm. those are things that you can kind of restore right and keep that memory alive i mean gosh we haven't had photography for more than like 150 200 years yeah, exactly. and so how many of those pictures we had that were, were would have been dynamite if you could have kept them but right kind of yeah. piece it back together oh. but you can print stuff in photo quality and that really yeah helps to make things dynamite mm -hmm. all right um You've got a few favorite quotes, and I, you told me a little personal story about related to this. Maybe if you want to talk about it, it's up to you. But you have a favorite quote. Your favorite quote is um, along the lines of, I'll, "I'll let you say it. Go ahead." Your yeah. Favorite. So, so I I really liked uh, Clint Eastwood movies growing up, and uh, my favorite, of course, is one of the the my favorite movie is probably the um, the Good, the Bad, and the Ugly. But I really liked a line from a Dirty Harry movie, which was the, uh, go ahead, make my day. <laughs> and is there a particular affinity you have for Clint Eastwood for any reason? Uh, well, I did meet Clint Eastwood um, when I was younger. He was doing a, I come from Idaho originally, and he was doing a, um, a movie in Idaho, Bronco Billy, which was not one of my favorites, but, um, but my, you've watched all of them. It sounds pretty like. much, all right. but my boss was through the casting party for them. And, um, so I met him at the casting party 
And then I met him again up in Sun Valley when I was living up there. I had my own business up there for a while. And, wow. um, and he lives up around there in his, in his um, entertainment uh, second home or whatever. <laughs> but so I met him up there then too. Um, and he remembered me from that casting party, which was kind of a, um, not the best story. I, <laughs> I, I fell out of a door that he was opening as oh, I was coming. Come over this yeah, and I came right, and it was a big step that you had to step out. And well, I wasn't prepared for the door to suddenly be open. Because he pulled it while you <laughs> yeah, were walking Yeah, he pulled out. it as I was walking out. So I fell, and I fell right at his feet. And, <laughs> and he's, he's, he made this line about how he'd had women fall at his feet before. But never quite like that. <laughs> not quite like not, that. Not quite like that. And sadly, he remembered that. He remembered me when he saw me in Sun Valley the same way, and he had to tell the... The well, lady, he that the story. Girls. Yeah, it was, it was. Uh, I was, I was in my early twenties then. So yeah. that's a, that's a, that's a, that is a pretty dynamic story. Well, tell me, what's one major objection you, you have to overcome? I mean, it's pretty clear. Some people were just like, "Oh, print doesn't work." I'm like, "Oh, you have no idea what you're talking about." Um, it's the most cost-effective way to get people into the system, right. especially with QR codes and easy to read and I did the whole thing today with stuff I printed because I needed stuff then mm -hmm. you need to see it right there so it's right in front right. of them but people don't understand it what's, well, what's, what's the biggest I, I'd say I'd say that probably uh, still you've got a lot of people who think it's too expensive and and that it won't have the impact that they'd like to believe it will so um, so you, you start out with well this is going to be too expensive but I try to get people to understand that it's really advertising is a necessity. And if you want to see, be seen and have the most colorful and highest quality stuff, that's going to be a positive reflection on your business as well. And that's the thing to think about whenever you think about how much you're going to spend, right? Um, you, you do obviously want to spend it wisely. and. And I think that's where that idea of the QR codes comes in too, because you can't put out an entire book worth of information at one point in time and hope that people read it all. Of course, I mean, I just, I just, people need to understand that there's so much more to it that is relevant because there's not just one way people mm -hmm. get into the system. Texts and emails and all that stuff, that's great right. and that works, but. You hand something a physical something, it sticks around. I don't like to waste right. anything. So if somebody hands me a piece of paper, I tend to like, okay, let me set it yeah. over here. And, and if it's I, really colorful, you like to put it out. Yeah, and then I see it you again, know? and I, I'm like, oh, I remember that now. Yeah. Whereas if it's on my phone, it's buried somewhere in here. And yeah. I'm never going to see exactly. it again. I, I take pictures that I want to see that I can't find. I know, it's true. And so, I have uh, all this electronic <laughs> photos and stuff, but you don't look at them again, you know? Yeah, you get that one time. They get sent up to the cloud or wherever they end up. But, yeah. Uh, Hopefully that you can dig them out of that, but um, I think you should take them out and let us create you a memory book that then you could actually have it and look through it. That's a good idea. Yeah. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Breevesprinting.com. B R E E V E S printing.com. Great information that you really get to talk to, and they've got a phone number right here for everybody to see too. Three one four nine six two. Three one four nine six two seven nine seven nine. Mm -hmm. And you can get a hold of Barbara right there mm -hmm. and get what you need put in place. Tell me how you think it is you most, you best contribute to the community. We talk about that with just about everybody on the show. And it's different. Some people are straight up like get into charities. Other people like what their business does really contributes and they do special stuff. What, well, what would you say is the I, I have done printing for charities that uh, in there. But I think probably the biggest thing that I would say is that we're creating products for small businesses all the time so that they can be relevant and be seen and i am a firm believer that small businesses are critical to the entire u.s economy and without some visibility people don't know that they could just go right down the street and get this thing locally 
you know, as opposed to buying it off of Amazon or whatever other, or go get it out of Walmart or, you know, you could, you could actually go get some of those things right next door. Well, and that's where we talk about this. There's so much to our, the business world, a lot of people think it's just big corporations. Mm -hmm. And they do a lot of marketing, they do got their name on a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. But they don't understand, when I worked in Anzer Bush, very, a lot of people didn't realize there was a ton of small businesses behind them that right. literally did a lot of the work that you didn't see. The labels, the bottles, mm -hmm. the, I mean, just whatever it was that got done there, and then much less everything else that made a company. Exactly. Work. And the painters that came in from the small business owners that have right. started a painting company, and everything along those lines. Mm -hmm. I think the argument is people say that 80% of the business, 90% of the business that's out there is actually small businesses. Mm -hmm. And they just need to figure out. Now, the advantage you have is you can adapt quickly. That's where I can say on my, my show here, for instance, we can quickly put anything together faster than I could say major production companies do. Mm -hmm. Likewise with what you do, quickly mm -hmm. able to adapt and get things done, mm -hmm. especially when it comes down to, especially somebody with the seasoned professional background she has at, right. at that level and having to make big things happen for <laughs> for our safety. And mm -hmm. this is not just planes they make, it's also nuclear stuff and attack. <laughs> but yeah. wow, your background is, is, is actually amazing. Well, as we finish up here, Tell me what it is you do for fun in St. Louis. If you could say the thing you enjoy most that you do. Maybe a little Cardinals game in there, maybe every once in a while, but mostly I think you see movies. And what yeah, else? I see a lot of movies. I like eat, eating at a variety of restaurants. Um, I love going to the wineries on the weekends, especially if they have a good band. I like that. Uh, do you? Yeah. Well, maybe I've seen you at some of the wineries because I, I end up there sometimes too, and I'll yeah. dance or I'll sing and do whatever and have fun. I don't what dance. Else? What else do you do for fun? <laughs> Besides uh, dance? Well, I like to travel. And travel. Uh, although I haven't done a lot of that since COVID. Sure. But I like to travel locally, too. Yeah, you know. do a staycation, something like that? Or? Yeah, go and go down to Branson, you know. Branson's like the third most visited place in the United States for uh, doing fun stuff. It it's is. kind of like Disney, but a little different, but it's yep. got similar attractions and fun stuff. Wow. Oh. Impressive stuff. We're so glad you took a little time to be on our show. Well, thank you. And uh, you, everybody, again, you can see this all on our YouTube, Facebook, all that stuff. You'll watch it on ABC. It's going to be on every Thursday night, 1230 and uh, 1235. And every Thursday we've done, this is show 55, 56. I, I start to mm -hmm. lose track, but I think we're at 56. Never missed a week. I, I, I told my mom, I said, we don't have to produce a show every week. She said, yes, you do. I said, you're right, Mom. That's how I was raised. But, but uh, yeah. we have to be consistent to get it done. And it's great That's because right. there are so many dynamic business owners out there like yourself mm -hmm. that really make it happen. And there's, and there's so much that people don't realize how critical small businesses are right. to what goes on this little planet, especially in, in America. And then we affect the whole rest of the world. Right. right? Exactly. Yeah, provide jobs for people all over the world that send their stuff. And sell well, I think that little business is critical. It Period. Is. Small business owners right. really make it happen, and that is an absolute key to the uh, to the survival of mm -hmm. our economy. We would argue, and then that, for that matter, that's where everything gets generated. All revenue comes from the business so that they mm -hmm. can finance everything else that needs to happen, and that's the way it's done. Well, thank you again for your time. Appreciate you. Thank you. We'll uh, we'll talk to you soon again. We'll keep in touch and let us know. We're going to put this out there for everybody to see. All right, everybody, stay tuned for more. This is the Your Little Castle Show. Mm -hmm. We'll talk to you soon. Giddy up. Mm -hmm.